Hey, what's up? How is everyone? I hope good. I was hoping that my phone would clear out a little bit more. I deleted a bunch of stuff, but it's not going to. So this step reading is definitely going to have to be a little bit uh, shorter than what they have been, which might not be such a bad thing. Maybe I won't talk as much or whatever. But this is a, a reading on what do other people think about you and what you have accomplished and what you're going through and so on and so on. So let's get started. So the first card I pulled is uh, Believe and Succeed. So you definitely are putting out to the world, you know, giving that vibe that you definitely believe in yourself and that you you definitely know that you, you're going to succeed. Puddles, quit. Hang on just a sec. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Do you want to come up here? Do you want to say hi? This is Puddles. Can you say hi? <laughs> Here, sit back. She can smell my barbecue, so she's wanting to eat. She's, see, she's far from suffers <laughs> at all. <laughs> she's actually put on a ton of weight since we've been on our mission. Would you quit? No more. No, you can't have it. Okay, sit back then, because I'm doing a reading, so. Here, sit up. Got it? Um, yeah, she's going right for that food. So um, they know that you definitely believe in yourself and that you are going to succeed in everything that you do, go for, and you're trying to accomplish. Um, how does you're not making this easy? Um, so they, here I have a bone for her. Hang on, let me give her a bone. Here, baby. Here, baby girl. Here. Here. Is that what you want? Yeah, that's what she wanted. We had Sunny's Barbecue. Imagine that. For dinner sunny but my name is su but anyways let's get back to the reading um so um they they know that you believe that you are going to succeed and they believe in you that they know that you're going to succeed also we have master so they they look at you as a person that has maybe finally mastered their heart that has definitely um taken the reins back and um you know really caged your heart in and really worked on making it healthy and maybe um, just maybe you've been hurt a lot in your life and people have really done some really shitty things to you and has really broken your heart but you have finally been able to you know take your heart back and you know heal it and love it and you know all that good stuff and you have it in you know caged and you're not just going to let anybody in to to hurt your hurt you anymore or to you know careful make you feel maybe like other people did in the past and you're just you're not going to allow anybody just to come in and take advantage of you and you, so they they think that you definitely have you know taken that control back so we have temptation so maybe you're somebody that has fought addictions your entire life Maybe you're finally, if you notice this, they're kind of pushing it back. They're like, nope, no more. Maybe you finally have, um, you know, worked through all the temptations that you have, you weren't able to master before, but maybe you're starting to master it now. If you're any kind of addict, if you have been a drug addict or an alcoholic, you know that you struggle with that for the rest of your life. And, and that's with sex, that's with gambling and all, every addiction we have, but... You definitely have to work each and every day to stay sober. And, you know, people, unfortunately, will do things to try and knock you back into that. They'll try and test you. Um, they'll try and just kind of push you to, because people like when you're, when you're struggling like this. Because you're easier to take advantage of. You're easier to control. And people, you know, you give your power over to the devil when you do that. And that's how I feel. And if you don't believe in that, that's fine. Just, you know, fill in your own words there. We have adventure, so maybe you are, maybe you're just an adventurous person in general, or maybe you finally have stepped, you know, away from all of that grief and pain and sorrow, and you're off on an adventure. Maybe you're trying to find yourself, and that's, you know, that's fucking awesome. You know, we all need um, time to ourselves, and we all need to, to kind of branch out and venture out to see, you know, where we fit in in the world and where we're needed and so on. So, we have forgive, of course, anger can always just be justified but then so can forgiveness just depends on how much more you want from the adventure go for gobs the universe so you might be a person that has 
mastered forgiveness. Maybe you're able to forgive people, uh, you know, that have really just broken you down and made you feel less than worthy and, and really have just crushed your heart. And Or maybe you're working on that, you know, in the adventures that you're off on. But they look at you as a person that, you know, maybe you teach other people that, you know, we need to have forgiveness in our heart for others because we all make mistakes. We're all human. But, you know, they do see that quality in you. And, you know, I, that's one of the best qualities we all can have. So guilt. <clears throat> So maybe, you know, you have carried a lot of guilt around with you. Uh, maybe you uh, make other people feel guilty. Maybe those people that have, you know, stood back and watched all this stuff happening to you, but nobody's ever stuck up for you. Or, you know, it could be that, you know, you've made some bad decisions and you have, you know, felt guilty. You have felt like this person in the back. But you're stepping outside of that guilt and you're, you know, you're connecting with the divine and you're releasing that guilt to, you know, to free yourself and then free all the other people that are involved. And if you haven't done that, then you're working towards that. And if I'm correct, the people that are, you know, the people I'm talking about that how they see you, they're also working through their guilt and their shame for whatever they've done to you. So we have volunteer. So maybe you volunteer a lot of your time. Maybe, you know, you're always there for other people and, um... You just, you, maybe you feel good when you are providing service to others and they, you know, everyone sees that you, you know, you, you're definitely the first one to be volunteering to help somebody and so on. So that's just beautiful. We have five of swords conflict. So maybe you've been conflicted with a lot of things that have happened in your life. Maybe you've had a lot of conflict with um, some of the people that are viewing you. But maybe you are just working through this conflict on the adventure that, you know, maybe you have really stepped back and really have gone within and you're really working to, to free yourself from all that conflict and disappointment. So we have growth. I want to expand my consciousness and awareness. So they have definitely seen how much you have grown through this process and how much you have transformed. So we have intent or intention, intuition. My intuition guides me to people, places, and jobs that I enjoy. So they definitely see that you allow your intuition to guide you in your life. And to me, that's like one of the best qualities that we all can have for sure. We have um, the Ace of Coins. And this is like, you know, um, like hard work. Um, the universe is handing you, you know, kind of like a blank check for you to to progress in life for you to do with whatever you want to do with that blank check the the universe is granting you that blank check because you have worked so hard on yourself to work through all the things that you had to work through to to break your temptations to master your heart to forgive those that have hurt you and to free yourself from the guilt that you have created within yourself for, from the things you've done and for um, teaching others to to also free themselves from guilt. So we have win or lose. Um, I hate this card, and it's not because I hate the card, but I don't I don't believe that we win or lose. I think that there's always it's always fair because you know if somebody wins, there is always a loser. And I've been on both. You no, know, I I don't think I have been on both ends of those. I've I've been on the losing end most of my life, and. I don't like to look at myself as a loser because I'm not. Have I been treated like a loser? Many of times. And um, so that's how they they know that you personally are not a person that's, you know, you're not battling to win and you're not wanting anybody to lose because if you notice this sword has a heart in the middle, your heart tells you that, you know, even, even when somebody has done you bad, you still have compassion and love for that person and you're not out to get revenge and you don't want to just win and so on so we have victory and success so they believe that you're definitely going to end up with victory and success in your life because you are working so hard on yourself they see that you're slowing down so maybe you're slowing down um, in your work maybe you're slowing down to to really appreciate yourself and in life a little bit more than you did before maybe you kept yourself really busy to to keep your mind away from all of the you know shit that was going on around you we have those you love love you 
To be beautiful in the eyes of another, simply forget they're watching. Tally ho the universe. So they definitely, you know, all people that have ever met you love you. And they, they definitely think that you're beautiful. And so we have miracle. So they truly believe that you are a miracle. That, you know, they might think that you're not even from Earth. You might be an Earth, you know, a... Um, an earth angel or something but they know that you can create these miracles you're teaching other people to create create miracles and they're seeing you with how much you have changed and how much you have grown and transformed that that's that's showing them what a miracle truly is and so that's beautiful we have decisions they know that you definitely take your time making decisions you don't just jump in in and you know make a decision you know be head over heart you just you make decisions through your intuition and you allow the divine to help you make these decisions so it's not something when you make a decision you have truly thought um, that you, you know you have really gone through a process to make that decision and it you know that that decision is right for you so we have the five of cups sadness in reverse so you are coming out of sadness. You're not allowing life to drag you down so much and create so much sadness in your life. You might be going through something that really has broken your heart. But you are learning how to not uh, stay stuck there. We have success. I know that there is no greater goal than lo to love. So you're having a lot of success in your life. All the things that you're doing now are creating success. And you also are teaching other people that by loving ourselves and loving others that we create sex. <laughs> sex? We create sex. Well, we might, but we create success each and every day in our life. We have honesty. I am fair and honest, and that attracts fairness and honesty into my life. So they definitely perceive you as a very honest person, and that's, I mean, what, what better quality could you ask for? We have the two of uh, coins. And um, it's in reverse, so before you were juggling so much that it just was like probably consuming you. So they see that you have, you know, laid down some of those responsibilities and some of those stresses. So you're awaiting results. I think that you're wait awaiting for justice to come. And it might, only, it might be justice within the universe, or it could be on a legal, but you're... you're patient enough to await results you you are teaching patient um, people that you can be patient and just a minute puddles baby um and that we sometimes we have to be patient and withstand all the the waiting that we have to do power you took your power back 1000 percent you no longer are allowing anybody to to come in and take your power you've gone through a transformation and they've all seen the transformation that you've gone through you've got time Ever wonder what would make life's fleeting pains and sorrows totally and unquestionably worth it? How about living forever, wildly in love and loved wildly? You have so much to look forward to, the universe. So they look at you as love. They all, a lot of people love you. You might not feel that people love you or even appreciate you. You might think that people view you as not a very good person and not understand where you're coming from. But truly, most people that have ever come in contact with you do love you. We have service again, so they know that you provide service, that you're more than willing to help anybody. We have self-care, so at this moment, you're definitely working on your self-care. Obviously, you've needed it. We have Ace of Cups, which is love, so they you project love into the world. You love yourself and you truly love others that are around you. We have blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. You don't blame other people for your bad mistakes, for your, you know, your wrongdoings, for your addictions, for what, you know, you have done in your life. You have never tried to uh, place blame on anyone else unless it truly was someone else that did that to you. You take responsibility. You stand up for the things that you have done wrong. You're not afraid to address it. You're not afraid to talk about it. And you don't care who knows. We have grounding. I center and ground myself despite emotional upset around me. So you're definitely a very grounded person. And last but not least, we have the um, Three of Swords in reverse. And this is, um, you know, you you had a costly victory. Or um, you walked away from a victory or you walked away from shame. Like you, something happened in your life to where... 
um, you finally walked away. You could no longer take the pain. You didn't care if it made you look bad or you had dishonor. So you're beautiful.